Hey, welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a collection product slider for the Shopify team with a pure JavaScript and AlpineJS. So in the previous videos, we created uh, the JavaScript slider with AlpineJS. But in this video, I'm going to add that to this product slider that you can see. And it is one of the, the feature almost every Shopify team have. So if you click on this slider, it is going to slide to the next one and the previous one. As I said in the previous video, if you have watched them, we added this slider in the product page with pure Alpine JS. So in this video, I'm going to add that to our collection page, uh, not the collection to a section which you can use on home page, on product page, on any page that you want. So this is the slider and how it looks. I added this to one of my clients website. So in this video, I'll just show you the code of how it is structured and how you can easily modify it. As I said in the previous video, when I'm building these themes, because they are with uh, Tailwind CSS, it is really easy for me to copy one section and put it in another theme. Uh, when I run the compiler, it just grab all the CSS and I don't have to write any CSS for that. So if I come to the code, this is called native product slider. This is the only file I have added and on that note, if you have watched previous video where I remove all the codes, I brought back this global.js because it has some uh, accessibility and some great media things which you have to uh, have it back in here. And I also added some code in the slider.js. So you can check the code on GitHub, but I'm going to go through them in here. Uh, before I like show you more of what is going on in here, uh, if I scroll down, this is the schema. Uh, basically, the name is called product uh, slider, native product slider. It has some option of displaying full width, having a title, alignment, font size, so on and so forth. So if I come to the Shopify backend uh, in here, this is how it will look. I am going to close all of this or maybe we can bring it at the top. It's called native product slider. It has a lot of options. First of all, it has this full width. If you click, it will make it a full width option. If not, it will display it in this container. And it has this um, heading, which you can display in here. You can design it better, but for now, these are all the options it has. You can text align it center, left or right, and you can even change the font size if you would like to. It has also um, a setting for picking which collection you want to display. I created, behind the scene, I created this collection called New Arrival. So this New Arrival collection, which is in here, will display all the product which has more than which the price is greater than zero. So it will almost include all the products that we have. And what else? How many product it should show? It is currently showing six product in here. Show more button or not. If you add something, it is displaying show more button. And this is the great layout. So here's the cool thing. You can even take out, take off the slider option. If you don't want the slider, you can display a grid of product. Now you can see how many in desktop you want to show. If you want to display three by three on desktop, this is how it will look. And also in tablet, you can change it. On mobile, you can change it. The same on mobile, you want one. So as soon as you switch to mobile, it is going to display one product per mobile. And if you say two, it is going to display two by two. All of them are displaying very nicely in here. The idea is that when you design this team, make sure your client is happy about the customization so they can customize it the way they want. If they have multiple sections, they have multiple design. And down here, you have this slider option. In this slider also, we have different things. If you want to display four in a slider, it is going to make it four, and it is going to work just fine because it is pure JavaScript in here, which looks nice to me. And also, do you want to display the secondary image on hover or not? which we also have these options. Now, this is all the settings we have for this. Let's check out the code quickly. Uh, I don't want to go through the schema. It is easy, just some settings, some uh, Tailwind uh, classes in here for, for item. For example, this is for tablet, so we use this MD, but this is for mobile. We do not use any media query. And for desktop, we use this LG for large screen. But at the top, here is what we add. Like, uh, we are going to first of all check if the slider is checked. The checkbox that we check for the slider uh, will make sure if it is checked or not. If it is checked, then display this component, which is the slider. Otherwise, use the simple uh, CSS grid. 
so the the important part in here is the slider the same way that we use in the main product page if you remember if I scroll down in here so we had this slider uh, we use this data slider which our slider is in a separate component we have the same thing in here we have data slider it on initialize what it can it is doing is it is assigning a slider uh, to these uh, riffs that we have where is the riffs it is in here so it just assigned this slider if I check this slider I added some extra code first I added this slider by default it is null means you can assign any slider to this on initialize you can do that it has this active of which one is active by default um, it might be a little buggy but if you are an expert JavaScript you can send a PR to the github repo I review and fix it it has this interval of um, auto playing on three seconds by default auto play is false and the direction is to the right direction so at the bottom this is how I do on initialize find the total which this one is going to find and it is going to check if auto play is true run this function where is that function the function is in here so what we basically do is we are going to create a counter in here and we we add that counter uh, if the direction is equal to right we click next and we add one to the counter and until the counter become more than the total that we have so it, if, if it is in the last slide it is going to change the direction to the left when the direction is in the left next up in this one will be called which is scrolled to the left it is not going to be infinite it is going to reverse the slider this is the initial like auto play that I have added but make sure like if you want infinite slider and you are like a JavaScript expert you can add that also but yeah that is just the basic idea of how we can customize our slider uh, what else in the code we have if I come here we have this next and previous nothing fancy we also render this uh, card product that's why it is very good to have this reusability this is a uh, a snippet that we use on the main collection also if you remember this is where we use it on the main collection and we also use it in this slider too and the good thing is like this product will be the same product that you see on the collection page and if you bring any changes to the cart it is going to affect it in here also this is basically how we display a slider in here I hope I didn't miss anything the source code is uh, available on github repo all you have to do is go to github and you will have access to the native product slider also the changes in here so that is the slider and a few more section I might add to the theme like image slider or any other thing basically like this is how you can extend the, the Shopify theme that you have so if you add this feature to any client it is just a simple thing like in the future you just copy this file everything from here add it to a file for the new client and it is going to uh, work just fine i hope this video has been informative thank you for watching again i will see you in the next video